Now that you have signed up Zero Accounting, it's time to have a quick introduction course to learn how to use Zero Accounting. I'm a certified Zero Advisor and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of Zero Accounting. If we are just meeting, my name is Sharon from NutsAccounting.com. Our mission is to help entrepreneurs to use Zero Accounting like a pro in simple English. There's weekly tips and tutorials on zero accounting and business curated for you. This video is sponsored by our online course, Master User Academy. Master User Academy helps non-accountants to do bookkeeping by using cloud accounting system like a pro in simple English. Get real-time financial data of your business to grow your business faster. Click on the link below to join for free. When you log into Zero Accounting, the first page that you see is Dashboard. Your dashboard will give you a quick glance of what's important such as your bank accounts, your account watch list, invoices owed to you by your customers, bills that you need to pay to your suppliers, your total cash in and cash out, and expense claims if you are using it. Hover your mouse over the graphs to view the details in a small pop-up. Click on the three dots icon to view the banking menu. There's some shortcut buttons here for you. Click on these buttons to create a new sales invoice, bill or claim. Next, let's look at the menu bar at the top. From the first button with your business name, you can change to other businesses that you have access to, view the files of this business, assess the settings of this business, and links to other apps and zero pages. Next on the menu bar is business. Here we have short-term cash flow, business snapshot, menu for customers such as invoices, quotes, and sales overview, followed by menu for suppliers which is bills to pay, purchase orders, and purchase overview, and the last section is your expense claims, products and services, which is also your inventory and checks. The next on the menu bar is accounting. Here we have bank accounts, reports and advanced features for your bookkeeper or accountants. Your favorite reports and favorite advanced menu. The next one is your projects if you are using zero projects. You can assess all projects, time entries, staff time overview, and staff cost rates here. The next menu is contacts. You can view all contacts, customers only, suppliers only, or your own customized groups. On the right of your menu bar, you will find five icons here. The plus icon is a shortcut to create a new transaction such as invoice or bill. The magnifying glass is to search for your transactions in zero. The bell icon is your notifications. The question mark icon is help articles. And the last icon is your account. If you find this video helpful, click on the like button and let me know in the comments below how long have you been using zero accounting? Now let's look at customer invoice page. You will find your customer invoices here categorized by its status tab and you can search or create a new customer invoice, customer credit note, send statements, import and export your invoices. This is your customer invoice page. Here you will find your invoice number, the status of your invoice, contents of your invoice, and you can preview, email, print to PDF, other invoice options, record customer's payment, and view the history and notes. Customer quote page is similar to customer invoice page, just the title of the page is different. This is sales overview page. Here, you can create new sales transactions, send statements, import, and search. You will find the total by invoice status, total by quotes status, a chart of estimated money to receive, 
and a list of customers owing the most. Supplier Bills page, Purchase Orders page, and Purchase Overview page is similar to the pages in the Customers section, just the title of the page is different. Next is Expenses page. You can create a new expense claim or mileage claim and you will find your expenses in your own tab. In To Review tab, you can approve or reject claims submitted by your employees. You can pay expense claims in To Pay tab and you can view all expense claims in All tab. Explorer tab will show a summary of claims in a graphical chart. This is your products and services page, which are also your inventory or stock. Here is the list of all products and services, and you can search, create a new item, import, and export your items. This is the item page. Here you will find the item name, the code, details of your item, and you can view more options here. View the recent transactions and the history and notes. This is your bank accounts page. Here is the bank account balances chart, bank accounts summary, and you can add a bank account, transfer money between bank accounts, bank rules, uncoded statement lines, and bank account options. Click on the bank account name to go to the individual bank account page. You will find your bank balances, account options, and four tabs here. Reconcile tab is where you will do your bank reconciliation. Cash coding tab is a fast entry page to categorize your transactions. Bank statements tab is your bank statements transactions imported manually or by bank feed into zero. Account transactions tab is your bank transactions that you have recorded in zero. This is your reports page. Reports are grouped into categories such as financial, tax, sales, purchases, accounting, fixed assets, inventory, and pay run. Click on the star to mark the report as favorite and it will appear in your accounting menu. This is balance sheet report page. This is the name of the report, report settings and criteria, your report, edit the layout, save and export. This is advanced accounting page. Here you will find advanced menu such as find and record, manual journals, fixed assets, assurance dashboard, export accounting data, and history and notes. Here is also your advanced settings such as financial settings, chart of accounts, tax rates, fixed assets settings, tracking categories, and conversion balances. This is your chart of accounts page. You will find your list of accounts categorized by its account type tab and you can search, add a new account or bank account, print to PDF, import and export your chart of accounts. This is your manual journals page. You will find your list of journals here categorized by its status tab and you can search, add a new journal or repeating journal and import your journals into zero accounting. This is your contacts page. You will find your list of contacts here categorized by its type, groups, or smart lists on the left sidebar and you can search, import, export, send statements, and add a new contact. Zero Accounting comes with free mobile apps which you can download from Apple's App Store or Google Play Store. Zero Accounting mobile app is a lighter version where you can see your cash flow and send invoices and quotes or call customers and suppliers directly. Zero Expenses app lets you track mileage and claims on the go, snap and scan receipts, review and approve expenses easily. Zero Projects app 
helps you manage and track profitability of every project. You can track time on the go, easily issue invoice for your project, and stay on top of your project financials. If you use Zero Payroll, Zero Me app allows your employees to check payslips, submit timesheets, and manage leave requests. Zero Accounting is designed for non-accountants with simple to understand terminologies and it is easy to navigate around. You can enjoy all Zero Accounting's powerful features by just filling in the forms of Zero pages. This video is sponsored by our online course, Master User Academy. Master User Academy helps non-accountants to do bookkeeping by using cloud accounting system like a pro in simple English. Get real-time financial data of your business to grow your business faster. Click on the link below to join for free. If you want to learn more about Zero Accounting, check out our Zero Tips and Tutorial playlist. If you would like to watch more videos on growing your business, check out our business playlist. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.